gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, look, we're making smoothies this morning. It's still this morning, smoothie. Now I happen to have a, a, a how we say, um, a history in smoothies. First you need, my smoothies just need a blender. We're not gonna do it or whatever have you. I plug it into the thing where, of course we're in uh, Concobe Municipality in, in, in the Eastern Cape of South Africa, Alice, you know, little time home on so that's the basic thing that you need for the smoothie. Now, let's pull all the other ingredients we need. Let me just pull this over one leaf for a second. Now, for my smoothies, I need two Oh, I forget my history. Oh, I used to work uh, craft service for the Sopranos. One of the things I make good smoothies. One time, Jim got a finger, you know, the guy that plays Tony Soprano. One Friday, he took one of my smoothies and he put vodka in it for the crew. Oh, they loved him. I was upset. Hey, what you doing over there? Hey, man, let's move. No, anyway. Turmeric. Secret ingredient people don't know about. Right there. What else do I have here for as a secret ingredient? Oh, there is a thing that, oh, I don't have a thing for you, but I'm not, I, I, I am going to put it in. This is a, a, a kelp powder, kelp, K-E-L-P, kelp powder. Now, but I have to find my ginger powder. Okay, those are some basic ingredients, right? Now, I have a treat this morning. Well, I need some liquid. I have some nectarine and mango. I think we'll use mango. Don't get all excited, you know what I mean? I, just, I very rarely share my mango, so you're lucky. It's not. The mango, you get the fruit out. I put this fruit, fruit in the refrigerator only because I gotta take this out. Oh, wait, we gotta take this. <gasps> Sorry, I'll hold this down. Like that. I put the fruit in the refrigerator because it was sort of ripe and I didn't want it to da 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 da. No. What I also. I'm going to leave the avocado. I have my avocado and a banana because I'm trying to, you know, ripen my avocado real good. One banana. Always use a banana in your smoothie because potassium is what you need, okay? Okay, so I did one banana. I'm going to use a pear this time. I use a pear this time. Usually I use three fruits or two. And I'm going to take a plum that looks like it's ready to die. This one, just one plum. I use this plum here, like that. That's one plum. Oh, I'm even going to throw the last bit of my cucumber in there. It's not a secret ingredient. I'm trying to get rid of the cucumber. That's all. <laughs> like that, like that. So then we have that. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, now we're ready to start. Here's the thing you do. First of all, I put a little bit of juice in in the thing. Oh, mango juice got shaken up. Because this is, this is not no messed up juice with just water, whatever, whatever it have you. Let me see what it says here. Ready to drink, it says here. Let me try to see. Uh, 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 ingredients. Here's the funny thing. It starts with 69% apple juice. It's mango juice. Why do you say apple juice first? It's the filler. But then they have 31 mango pulp. That's good. Ascorbic acid, flavoring. Uh, see? A foaming agent. No. So it's really very basic. Versus, say for instance, for say for instance, I think I still have it here. This is a mango drink that they have out. And what's the first ingredient there? Water, sugar, mango puree. So you're just doing sugar water here. You're a little mango puree. So you want the juice more than anything. Let me get rid of this. I'll put this in the bottle. Yeah, it's nothing but water. Sugar water. You know you like that sugar water. Put it down there like that. Then we'll get rid of this. Throw it out there in the bin, which please kind sir. Now. I'll put just a little bit of mango juice in there. Or things. I'm going to show you why. Because, actually, you know, I'm going to put this in first. Oh, I forgot one more ingredient that I usually do. And that is my cinnamon. Cinnamon. Always good. Okay. Now, we take a little knifey. Now, now, people don't know about bananas. But, you know, bananas, you don't really peel from the top like that. Banana, you peel from the bottom. Right? Oh. Can I have my little bin, my little other year, like that? You peel banana from the bottom. It's just the way it's supposed to be done. <laughs> Easier that way. Now, what I do is I cut this, like this, and generous things like that. Let's put it in there. My hands have been washed already because I was playing in the sink preparing the water, you know, for Scully over there to do the dishes. He likes to do dishes. I don't know why, but he does. Okay? Then I cut this off like that. I'm going to leave the um, the skin on, right? But I'm going to make it a little bit easier for them, for the thing to chop up by just, you know, sort of doing like that in there. And that 
that's fine. Okay, it's all right. Now, here's the thing. Before I do anything else, I'm going to go into my secret bin. Secret bin, protected by Tupperware. I'm not advertising something. It's just really good ceiling, like that. And what do I bring out from my secret bin? It's over here. You ready? Goji berries. I should say, I have a long history in really good, healthy stuff, but I've been doing this for a long time, at least since the, I don't know, 70s? I don't know. I know a lot about nutrition. Yeah, know. Okay. Now, I take, literally, I take a handful of goji berries. That would be a handful. Handful of goji berries. Now, for goji berries, I never particularly just like to eat them straight, but I put them in here with the juice so it can get a little bit of moisture moist in there, you know, so I just do that. I try to, you know, like that. Goji berries, fine. Now, after I put the goji berries in, then I start, because, if I fat, well, let me just put, I put some cinnamon in. Some, just like that. I put the stuff back right away. Why? Because that's the way I am. Now, I put the cinnamon in. Rather than me do something, 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 I'm going to now cut a pear. Now, I have washed a pear before. I put it in a thing like that, but I'm going to wash the pear again. Why? I don't know. I just want to make like, you know, hey, I guess rinse the pear is what I want to say. Okay, so I rinse. I cut it like that. Da -da. I, I, I don't bother with that just yet. Oh, can I have, uh, yeah, one of these here? That's a as a cutting board. I use the plate as a cutting board, like that. I cut the I cut the pear right down the middle like that. You see it's kind of it's not soft. It's kind of firm, you know? Right? Then again I cut it along. I call it the seam, but you know the spine of the pear, whatever have you. Now here's the interesting thing. I used to be a lab technician, you know, medical technology. The guy that takes your blood and does it and does the and does the, the does the work in the lab, you know, serology, a parasitology, hematology, chemistry, you know, blood banking, that kind of thing. Now, what I learned from my little thing of that is that, you know, most uh, what do you call that? I don't say parasites, but most uh, things that's gonna live in fruit, they start by living in the stem. So I get rid of the stem, even in something like uh, I mean, like apples. People sometimes have this funny thing, they want to eat the apple core. Hey, you don't know what's in that apple core, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I always come along there and I get rid of this spine thing. But instead of throwing it away, you know, because it has a lot of nutrition in there, I put it in my little bin like this because this is going to be, I guess you would say it's compost, but really it goes into my garden. And my garden is fantastic, a fantastic. Fantastic garden. Why? Because I take all my stuff, instead of throwing it in the, in the bin that's going to go to the rubbish thing and go to the landfill, I let, it, I let that nutritious stuff, the stuff that I'm not eating directly, go into my garden, which means I will get it eventually out of the kale or the carrot or the beetroot or the spinach or the, 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 or the long stem broccoli, you know, or the, or the, or the, or the red onion or the, um, or the radish that I have in my garden, you see? You know, it says spinach, right? Like that? Okay, so I do that. Just get rid of that. Done. Then I put that in there, like that. Uh -huh. I try to help it along by, by making little bits, bits, bits. You know, it doesn't matter. I have a good blender. Then, now when I do that one, now I go and I use my um, kelp powder. Now, kelp powder has iodine in it. You see, in bread, they used to have a thing, well, used to have kelp, well, used to have iodine in it. Look, in bread, they replace this stuff with bromine. Bromine is bad for you. I just got to say bromine. Bromine. B-R-O-M-I-N. It's bad for you. But kelp powder gives you your iodine back, you know, your iodine, natural iodine. I put this, again, back on the, sh on, on, in the rack where I got it from. I come back. Here we go. Now I do my plump. Again, I just rinse my plump off like this. 